I've been looking for an affordable convertible that's slight, it's fun to use, and it still works like a proper laptop. No gimmicks. Works like a proper laptop when it's time for work. And this is what I came across, the Lenovo C340, also known as the Flex 14. But before I tell you more about it, let's get this unboxed. So it's about a kg and a half. When you're holding it, it doesn't feel that heavy. So quite a compact machine. The overall footprint is small and smart. So it definitely ticks a box for the right convertible. It's made of plastic, but the lid is aluminum. Pretty snappy magnets to keep it firmly tight in convertible note taking mode. And its convertible mode is not flimsy or loose. It feels firm, so that's a plus. The deck feels solid with a comfortable keyboard to use. Nothing wrong with the Lenovo keyboards as usual. It's good key to key spacing, good key depth, and so does the touchpad. It's sharp, quick, and accurate with multi finger gestures. On the right side, we have a quick responsive fingerprint login. Now let's come to the screen. It's a 14 inch full HD non glossy panel. Colors do pop on with a decent saturation and a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. The brightness on this thing is around 230 nits, which is okay for indoor, but not the best for outdoors. So hear me say this, if this was around 280 nits, I repeat, it's a 230 nits around brightness. And if this was somewhere around 280 nits, this would have been a perfect convertible on this price point, in my opinion. But the touch on screen is responsive and pretty darn usable on lap or intent mode. And at the back, we have the Wentz, the heat dissipation, and two Dolby audio speakers. These are enough loud and clarity is good in both laptop and tent mode. Even at max, there is this little light bass kick. That's just good. The whole experience is nice to hear on the go. Good job, Lenovo. For the ports, you have the headphone mic combo, a one USB-C 3.1, Gen 1, HDMI, and a power port on the left side. On the right side, you get two USB-A 3.1, one of which is always on. You can press the enter button at any time to see how much battery, how much juice is left in your laptop. You do get a 720p average webcam for your video calls, but all of that aside, what amazes me most is a good performance in any machine. And this one has very decent performance for the form factor for the whole convertible scenario. At the beginning, I said it works like it should in a proper laptop mode. So no gimmicks, no attachments, no keyboards and screens aside and you attach them together. This is just one unit, one convertible. And in that form factor, it works like a proper laptop. And that's rare to happen on budget convertibles. So managing Microsoft Office along with web experience has been smooth and using it for continuously around four hours, I've not had it heated. But this is the story on light to medium usage. Thermals do rise in processing intensive scenarios. Running multi-core Cinebench, the temperature did boost up to 95 degrees, brought it back to 85. Power limit throttling bringing TDP from 28 to 18, and the max core frequency from 3.3 GHz to 2.6 GHz dropout. Stress test with 100% CPU utilization on a 10 minute long load, we had thermal throttling turning on, and the temperature was at 95, and the TDP was on 38 bringing it down to decent 76 degrees and the TDP to 16 watts. Also, max core frequency was brought down to around 1.9 gigahertz, which is good enough considering this thing is allowed to go on 20 watts for 28 seconds. Now, considering how small this thing is, I don't think it's for users who wish to load programs with heavy processing toll, like 3D Design, 3D Studio. 
Adobe Premiere and putting rendering loads onto it like 4K video footage and transitions and whatnot, which will definitely result in the system heating up. Did a bit of gaming on it as well, but this doesn't have uh, the GPU in it. You do have an option to get the one with MX230. I don't know how well it is going to respond, how well it's going to perform overall with the GPU, but you've got to wait until I get my hands onto one of those machines, which is going to be soon. Now for the convertible part. Right here, we have the laptop with an active pen and the pressure sensitivity in it, which is good enough. It's snappy, it's accurate. Good job with that. Now, the battery on this thing is worth checking out. On better performance and a medium loads, I was able to get three and a half hours from 100 to 52%. That's about 50% giving me three and a half hours. So all in all, you can get around eight hours of use on light to medium usage with video playback as well. That's a whole day of battery this convertible brings to your disposal. Now, as Lenovo promotes, this thing comes with rapid charging. And to my test, the 45 watt charger included gives us 10% to 40% battery in 30 minutes, which means you get a battery of around two and a half hours to yourself in 30 minutes. Now, this is something which convertibles are supposed to do. So with Windows 10 preloaded on this laptop, the whole convertible form factor, the smooth lag free performance and an excellent touchscreen, the whole IO with its keyboard and touchpad seems to work really well in conjunction. But the only thing that set me back is the screen's brightness. If this was just a bit 25% more brighter than what it is, this could have been the perfect, I think this could have been the unbeatable convertible in the market at this price point. Well, let's see what's gonna come in the future. So this is the i5 with 256 GB SSD. You can get the i7 variant with 512 SSD for $899. Links are gonna be in the description. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. And if you like what you see, just go hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech signing out. Yep, we're signing out. We're done for today. You guys can go enjoy, chill, make the most of it. Stay safe and keep your distance. I'm gonna see you guys soon. Peace. Gen i5, 10 to 1 0 U, 1.6 GHz. GHz? Seriously, guys? Or C340, also known as the Flex 14. But before I tell you, blah, 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 blah. Welcome back to Forest Text. So the two in one for it, Forest Text. All right, now we're texting. Brilliant, guys.